Okay, welcome back to Asperger's from the Inside and this video series on understanding Asperger's. Uh, today's analogy is a bit of a stretch again, but like I said, I really like analogies and so this one really spoke to me. It's, it's around the theme of flexibility. Um, so I remember when I was in year seven, first year of high school, about 13 years old, and I did a woodworking class and we learned the difference between a tenon saw and a coping saw. Now the they are two different saws designed to do two different things. One is designed to cut very straight lines. It's big and thick and it's, that's what it does. It cuts straight lines. The other one has a really thin blade which can very easily cut around corners and curvy lines and things like that. Now, my analogy is if I am that coping saw that is very good at being flexible, ironically, people on the spectrum are the most flexible people I know, I need not just would like, but absolutely need a high degree of rigid guidance and structure to allow myself to keep a straight line. Otherwise, I'm going to be all over the place and my life is going to be really, really messy. And one of the, one of the reasons that this is important is because for me, everything that I do is not necessarily connected to anything else. So I'll give you an example. Hopefully you can see enough of me. Um, I did a snowboarding lesson once and um, the instructor said, point your shoulders down where you want to go. I'm like, okay. So if I want to go in that direction, I would point my shoulders in that direction. Great. How's that going to work? This does not feel natural at all. But he said, point my shoulders in that direction. I really don't see how that's going to help me. Um, and then I, I shared this story with a friend of mine who is also a snowboard instructor and he said, no, 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 no. It's all about your hips. You need to point your hips in the direction. Um, and that made a lot more sense. And in hindsight, the, what I was doing wrong was I was pointing only my shoulders. What he meant was point your hips, point your shoulders in that direction, meaning point your whole body in that direction. It's just that most people can't have, can't actually point their hips without pointing their shoulders. So the way this teacher was instructing the class was he said, point your shoulders in the direction. And most people would go, okay, I'll point my shoulders in this direction. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. Whereas for me, because I'm so flexible and so disjointed in that sense, anything can be um, in one direction and something else can be in a different direction. I only pointed my shoulders, which was not very helpful. So I need a lot of structure so that I can do a straight line because it's like being a coping saw instead of a, a tenon saw. Is this a really long bit to draw? Anyway, you get the idea. So I hope you've enjoyed that analogy today um, and stay tuned next week for um, a slightly more, slightly easier to understand um, analogy of what life on the spectrum is like for me. Thanks, bye.